Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be my 2017 December empties. The finale, the final empties of the year. So, I don't have a whole lot, but at the end I am going to um, give you a grand total of what I have used up for the entire year. And if you're wondering how I know that, is because I keep track in this little book, I'm trying to find where I started the year at. There we are. Here's where I started my year. And I keep track for each month. I keep track of how many full size empties I have used, how many deluxe size samples, and how many samples, and the dollar value on each of those. And I keep keep track of it throughout the whole year. I have been doing that since this notebook has 2015 is where I actually started with this little notebook. So anyway, I don't have, like I said, I don't have a whole lot this month. Um, hey Penny, a little dog. It is like really cold out so we're got her inside today or this evening so she can get warmed up and she just got through eating her leftovers that we brought in for her so all right now I'm all ready now I can start okay what are you doing hmm? I would pick her up and show you but she's like she's heavy she's heavy she was supposed to have been a weenie dog <laughs> my daughter called me she went for a sleepover at a friend's house because I don't remember what grade she was in and she's like they have a long-haired weenie dog puppy that they're just giving away and it's a girl I know you've been wanting one you want me to bring her home I'm like okay well she's not long-haired for one and she's not a weenie dog for two <laughs> but anyway we love her the same Okay, so let's get let's get the show on the road. I have three of the Dr. Teal's bath salts here. I have a activated charcoal with Hawaiian black lava salt. I did not care for this one at all. Um, I don't like the smell of it for one thing. It's it's a very manly scent. It almost smells like a man's um, cologne plus it left little black specks all, all in the tub I didn't like that I didn't care for that one at all and then I have one that's the comfort and calm with camellia and this one was okay not my favorite I don't think I would repurchase that one either and then this one was the um, soft and nourished with milk and honey this one um, is okay still not my favorite the avocado and the um, coconut ones are my favorite but anyway we did use those up <clears throat> and of course it wouldn't be a empties without my makeup remover wipes used up a package of those <clears throat> this is a new empties that I've not had before this is from the brand q-tips and it's the precision tip um, cotton swabs. They have the little pointed end on there and they're really good for cleaning up underneath the eye, um, around the lip. Well, here's a picture of everything you can do for it. And I'm pretty sure that I picked this up at Target. And there was 170 cotton swabs and I would definitely repurchase those. A vitamin this is the sugar hair bear sugar bear hair hair vitamins that I like to take um, help with um, my hair <laughs> she's been like really nosy and I'm really kind of <clears throat> kind of nervous with her in here because she's not used to being inside and I don't know what she's gonna do she just looking <laughs> we've had her for so long she's starting to turn gray in her face anyway Anyway, I do like these vitamins, and I think I have a couple more bottles. Then I'll have to do a reorder on those. Then I have a little Bioderma, a um, little travel size. I'm pretty sure this came in 
last year's lucky bag from Beautylish. Um, I don't really care for it at all. And I, I just don't understand how people can use something like this to take their makeup off. It did, eye makeup, it did not do anything for eye makeup. I ended up using this for just using it as my mixing water on like a um, cleansing powder that I would use in the morning time or with a cleanser. Anyway, would not purchase that at all. And I have the Ulta Beauty um, Cotton Rounds. These are exfoliating ones, and I have been swearing by these. But I don't know if they've changed the formula, how they made them, the quality. But these things have been coming apart like crazy when I've been using them. They're not as thick, and they're not as um, sturdy or strong as what they used to be. So I'm really disappointed in Ulta Beauty for changing those. Or maybe I just got a bad bag. I don't know, but not impressed with those. And normally I love those and it's kind of a shame because I have like three more containers of them, I think. So um, from It Cosmetics is a what is this? This is a Celebration Foundation Illumination in Light. I'm pretty sure this came in a kit or something. Um, I use this as a finishing powder. It is empty. It's a little crumbly. I didn't really care for it. It was a little bit too heavy. Probably, it was probably intended to be used as a, your foundation. I would use it over a, a really lightweight foundation. I didn't really care for it. I wouldn't repurchase it. The color was wrong for me, for one thing. I really needed the fair. <coughs> so it's not anything that I'm going to repurchase, but I did want to use it up and get it out of my collection. Then I have a face spray from Tatcha. Tatcha. Um, this is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This was a really nice face spray, but just so expensive. And I don't think it's worth the money, to be honest with you, because there's other um, face sprays that you can find that will make you have a nice dewy look to your face without having to spend the price tag for that. But Enjoyed it while I had it, but I would not repurchase. It was in a kit that I bought last year during Black Friday or Cyber Monday, something like that, from um, Derm Store, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let me get the rest of this stuff out. Okay, um, then I have a little deluxe size sample of the Aborian. Um, solid cleansing oil and I did enjoy this and I have ordered it since I think I ordered it I can't remember if it was Soko Glam or Peach and Lily but during their Black Friday Cyber Monday sale I ordered a full size of that then I have a deluxe size sample of the Belief Aqua Balm and this is the tree cream in the aqua balm. I like the aqua cream better. It's a little bit more moisturizing, a little bit heavier duty for my skin. This would be really good for someone that has maybe oily to combination skin, but it is a really good uh, moisturizer. Then I have a little baby size of the fresh sea, sea berry moisturizing face oil. I do like to use this. I like to use this of the morning mixed in with a moisturizer just to really help moisturize my skin and get it prepped and ready for um, foundation. Then I have from 100% Pure. This was an item that was sent to me for review um, from Octoly. And this is the Coke, the cut coffee bean caffeine eye cream and I really did like this as a morning um, eye cream to me I know everybody that reviewed this said it smelled like coffee to me it did not smell like coffee to me it smelled like rice crispy treats but it was good I don't think I would go and repurchase it just because I have a lot of eye creams that I need to get through 
and um, it was a good moisturizing cream but as far as it being um, de-puffing like it's supposed to because it has you know the coffee in it I didn't really see a whole lot of de-puffing going on as <clears throat> you can notice <laughs> I always have these little puffs under my eyes it doesn't matter what I do I have a lot of allergies uh, my mother her eyes look exactly the same <laughs> so I think a lot of it's hereditary also but anyway then I did finish up two of these um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfumes one was in the bourbon which I absolutely love and want it in the full size and then um, the black um, they were good separate and they were good mixed together and what I did was I um, transferred these over into an atomizer so that I could use them as a spray as opposed to just a little dabber like this is I like spraying my perfume on so I get it all over and get my whole self saturated in it but um, <clears throat> definitely um, recommend either one of those and these little bottles are going to my friend who collects perfume bottles and then um, I have some little samples. One is from Saturday Skin. You've heard me talk about this brand. It is a really good Korean skincare brand. It is sold at Sephora now. And this is the Featherweight Daily Moisturizing Cream. Um, I don't feel like there's anything featherweight to this at all. It was a really good moisturizing cream for day. Now, nighttime it wouldn't be enough if you have really dry skin. But I got like three maybe four uses out of this little pack so it was it was a nice moisturizing cream and then I have a whole bunch of these little um, foundation packets that I had ordered from um, Kojindo and to see what color I would need in foundation and so I used all of those up because the color selection is very small for one thing and the shade differential between each shade is very slight, very slight. So I was able to utilize every single one of those. Anyway, okay, so that is for it for all of the products. So now I want to kind of tell you the um, my totals for the whole year. So for the whole year, I ended up using around 400 items. Now that includes your know, full size, um, deluxe size sample, samples, sheet masks, the whole shebang, um, around 400 items. Yay, yay me. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff when you really sit down and think about, you know, if I had all of that sitting here on the floor oh my gosh could you imagine the thumbnail that that would be but I do not want to save my trash for a whole year just to get a awesome thumbnail but oh my gosh it would be massive now the really staggering number is the dollar amount that all of that equal to and when I look at this number I'm thinking man if I had that money now now in my hand <laughs> Oh, what I could buy. But anyway, um, it was a total of $4,678. Wow. That's a lot. That is staggering. That's a lot. But um, it is what it is. I used it up. It didn't go to waste. And there you have it, my friends. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.